Infantile hemangiomas are very common in childhood and affect around 4-6% to of children. Sometimes where they're more bulky and red, they're called strawberry marks or strawberry hemangiomas. The exact cause of hemangiomas isn't known, but we know that they occur more commonly in girls, in triplets or twin pregnancies, and in children who are premature. Hemangiomas usually become apparent within the first week or two of life. Most commonly they start as a little bluish or pinkish mark on the skin. However, they go through a phase of proliferation where they become more pronounced, more livid in colour and slightly raised. After a period of proliferation, which can go on for a few months, hemangiomas then tend to go through a phase of involution where they become smaller, softer and more greyish in appearance. Most hemangiomas will clear on their own, but this can take a couple of years or sometimes longer. After they have cleared, they sometimes leave some baggy, redundant skin where they've been. This can be removed later on by excision of any excess skin by a plastic surgeon if it's giving a significant cosmetic problem. Dermatologists would not normally recommend any treatment for simple, uncomplicated hemangiomas. This is because they will resolve on their own over time. Sometimes, however, hemangiomas can occur in problem areas. For example, they can occur on the eyelids, and in this case, they can obscure vision. This can have very significant effects on the baby's ability to develop normal vision later on in childhood and through adult life. It's therefore important that if you have a hemangioma that's on a complicated site, that the child is reviewed by a dermatologist who can recommend appropriate treatment. Other problem areas include around the tip of the nose, which can leave a very difficult uh, cosmetic problem once the hemangioma has involuted. Other hemangiomas may signal underlying problems. For example, hemangiomas around the lower lip and around the beard area may be associated with involvement of hemangioma around the airway, which can be very important to pick up and to treat. Sometimes babies have large, what we call segmental hemangiomas, covering large areas of the head and neck. These are important to be checked out also because they can be associated with problems inside the head, in the brain, and also with large vessels and the heart, so they need to be checked out appropriately. If there's any question as to whether the child's hemangioma may be complicated by internal problems, it's worth asking for referral promptly so that it can be checked out properly. Over the last few years, a treatment for hemangiomas has been developed called propranolol. This is a treatment that's taken by mouth and it can have a very dramatic effect at shrinking down hemangiomas. A baby who may need to start treatment with propranolol will have a number of different investigations, for example, blood tests, blood pressure check, and perhaps a scan of the heart. For this reason, propranolol isn't given to all children with hemangiomas, but would be reserved for complicated ones, for example, large hemangiomas over the eyelid. Because the treatment works best when the hemangiomas are still new, specifically when they're still proliferating, it's much better to get your child referred promptly so that treatment with propranolol can be started as soon as possible to avoid future problems.